Welcome to lesson one in how to be a dentist. First step, oral cancer screening. It's the number one thing we do because our goal for all of our patients is overall health, overall health first and then dentistry second. So we gotta make sure, at least in our realm of what we're doing here, that there's at least things are normal. You can look closer too if you want to. This is pretty close. Pretty but, my voice. Hi, Ali. This is Gladys. And Kimmy. She had a wonderful eyeball today. <laughs> All right. So first thing I always do is I just try to glance at the patient and make sure they're symmetrical. Like when I when I'm talking to them, I want to make sure that their head's not all crazy looking. You know, I want to make sure that they're that there's nothing you know on one side of their head that's that's would cause me to say okay well, what's going on on this side so same thing when i put my hands i'm putting my hands kind of um just above the collarbones and first thing i want to do is i want to try to find a place where my fingers can fall naturally and just just I'm, all i'm doing right now is just checking for symmetry there's gonna be all types of crazy bumps in here okay uh, but i want to make sure that there's symmetry all the way up i'm, I'm kind of squeezing i kind of push back and forth i go all the way to the thyroid cartilage and I kind of rub my fingers around both sides of the uh, thyroid cartilage to make sure um, that there is um, that there's nothing sticking off it, off the thyroid. Sometimes you have like a little bump on one side or not the other. That's a sign that you want to make sure that you address. You ask them about their physician as they look at this because we're not going to obviously treat this. We got to we're just trying to make sure the patients know um, that that they need to go see, see some see somebody. But so. Check your thyroid cards. What I do is also, I kind of move it back and forth like this to make sure it's movable, okay? Um, sometimes you, you feel or see things when you push it around because it should be able to be freely movable uh, when, when you press it back and forth. Then what I do is I kind of kind of put my fingers against the skin and I kind of pull up like this. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to trap any lymph nodes underneath my fingers as I go up. Because if you find one lymph node on one side, that automatically sends you a signal that I need to be checking for oral cancer on the right side of the mouth and, and really be looking for it, okay? Sometimes you'll find one and, and um, uh, you'll find one and it's, it's just kind of a, um, you know, uh, it, you'll feel one on the other side too. If you find them on both sides, that's great. If you find them on one side, some, a lot of times you'll find them on just one side, and but you just gotta make sure that you don't see anything going on or you ask the patient if you've, you've had any symptoms or anything like that. The next thing I do is, you know, a lot of times people are supposed, they ask you like to palpate all the muscles of mastication and all the head and neck muscles. But what I do is I just come up here and I start pressing on the masseters a little bit to see if that makes the patient jump at all. Because if that makes them jump at all, that means they've got really hot masseters. Probably they're clenching and grinding at nighttime. Okay, so I kind of come up here and if they don't make any noises or anything like that, then I just put my finger right above where the condyles are. And sometimes I'll say open. Sometimes I'm nowhere near them. Sometimes I'm like off them. So, but when you open and close, you can actually kind of readjust your fingers to find out where they are. So open, close, and then I'll do it again. Open, close, and what you can do is just by having your fingers here, you can actually he feel or hear popping or clicking. Sometimes you actually, by pushing on it, you'll make the jaws click when they normally don't. So you gotta be careful when you ask that. And then you just ask the patient if they have any pain, um, discomfort, or popping and clicking in their jaw joints. And if they do, you, you try not to just ask them more questions about that to make sure that they, um, um, did you just take it sideways and then turn it upwards? So when she's watching it now, she's gonna not know how to look at it. So keep it the same way the whole time. Yeah, there you go. Um, so the, um, so once you know her jaw joints are okay, um, uh, then you start looking in the mouth. So open. So what I do is I just put my fingers in the corners of the mouth right here, and I, and I make sure they're nice and relaxed. And I, what I do is I, as I'm looking down the, the bottom lip right now, okay, and then I pull my uppers and I look at, just to make sure, that basically I'm looking like front six, lower six, just to make sure nothing going on right there, okay? That's about as much as you can see with just your fingers there, okay? Then what I do is then I ask for them to stick their tongue out. Stick your tongue all the way out for me, and I, and I kind of put it underneath the tongue and I kind of wrap it. And I kind of hold it and then I pull it off to one side and I'm looking all the way to the back of the lateral board of the tongue all the way to the front. If I see anything on there that looks a little color, sometimes I'll rub it. 
when if it's indurated or if it's like hard, you'll actually, if there's something, a problem, sometimes it's like a hard mass inside there. Like when, whenever you go to the oral surgeon, if you send something, they're always like scraping their finger on to feel if there's actually some kind of like lump in there. So you gotta feel if it's like just on the surface or if there's actually some substance to it. And I do it the other side, look there. Then what I do is I go straight, put my uh, tongue or my um, mirror right kind of in the middle of the tongue and I press it down to see if I can see the airway. And, uh, and then I say, ah, uh, uh, so I want to be able to see the airway and then I want to see just the back of the throat to make sure they're all the way from the um, uvula up on both sides of the soft palate to make sure there's nothing asymmetrical. Really, I'm looking for anything that's on one side and not on the other side. Can you put your chin up real high for me? So what I'm looking at now is I'm looking, she's got no problems right here on her left side, no problem on her right side. I saw a guy one time with just like a little purplish hue on one side, not the other, and ended up being cancer. Um, so now you just take my mirror because it's hard to see it's hard to see behind the incisors unless you take your mirror and kind of put it at a distance and just kind of look real quickly all over the, the, the roof of the mouth otherwise you'll miss something there and then what i do is i kind of sometimes look at the floor of the mouth okay i put my tongue i to put my mirror down there and i look at the floor of the mouth and i go to the other side of the floor of the mouth just to make sure i don't see anything some some dentists they actually put their finger down there and they feel for any bumps you know sometimes i do that if i can't see it and then um I'll look at the, then, then sometimes I'll leave my chair a little bit, kind of lean to the side. And I'll look a little further back there to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then that's it. So the big thing is, so the big thing is symmetry. Make sure everything's symmetrical. And then if you see anything that looks bumpy or, or, or abnormal, you, you have to try to make it, does this fit with the normal tissue? Sometimes just like a little pigment. And you say, okay, there's a pigment on one side, not the other. You look at the quality of that pigment. They look everywhere around the mouth. If you see that pigment anywhere else around the mouth, that usually means that's not a problem. Like sometimes people have like little brown spots, like on one side. And I'll look, okay, okay. Now I'll look everywhere else and I'll see another brown spot over here, another brown. So that's probably not a problem. But if you just see one brown spot, there's nothing else in the mouth, then you have to say, okay, uh, I, I'm either going to send it off for a biopsy or make a note of it or bring them back in two weeks and look at it again to see if it changed. Because sometimes things are there one time and not the other time. So that's part one. To be continued. See you, Allie. <laughs>